Hey everybody, um, how's it going? It's been a face video in a long time, but uh, no, I do. Well, Friday, um, this weekend pheasants opener, but I don't know, I might go on Sunday. Um, but I want to start off kind of so as you can see, well, actually, there you saw it. Um, I was at Fleet Farm today and I've been debating on getting one, and as you can see, I got a fertilizer spreader. Um, it's a poly, um, your basic polycone. They had it on sale because it's their winter reduction, so inventory sale, whatever you want to call it. So, spend the money, got it because I don't know, maybe you know, if it stays warmer out. I may spread some fertilizer this fall. Um, not sure. If you guys want to kind of give me tips as to when to spread, what to spread type deal. Um, yeah, I might spread this fall. And on this weekend, I'm hoping to, as you can see, I kind of got this area cleaned up. Especially behind me, it was always, I had the <clears throat> feeder back there. But um, I want to at least clean up. Get that, get it piled in the back, in the middle there. And then now I want to ready to go haul manure because I have not been able to catch the owner of the hay ground yet. So, at least if I can get piled up, then I can get the manure spreader in here. Um, and then we're ready to go. It's a simple, I'm not having to rip up chunks. I can kind of break it down. I'll probably put a little bit of water in it because it's all, as you can see, it's all bed pack behind me. So it's just going to flake up. There's not actually a lot of manure here. Um, there's even less than I thought. So, I don't know. We might have a manure spray load that's... That's it. There's a decent amount out in the lot. I might try shoveling some of that heavier stuff. But, I don't know. That's that's kind of what we're going to be doing next. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I might go inside and look, look at that. Look at the operator's manual. Read through that a little bit. Um, and the reason I went with Poly, uh, they had the metal ones. Um, I consulted with a couple guys, and they all recommended Poly, which I kind of figured. Um, and Poly was only 20 bucks more. But you can only haul or carry 400 pounds versus the 500-pound weight on the metal. But the metal ones that I've seen, they're all down at the bottom, bottom of the cone. Um they seem to, I don't know what that is. They seem to be kind of rusted out a little bit. So I thought, well, that'll withstand a lot more stuff. And they seem to hold their value. Um, I've seen, I saw one that actually sold for, I think it was on an online auction. I think it was Poly. And that one sold for like 450 bucks. So basically 50 bucks less. And... We'll kind of do, I'll flip the camera up. So, now I got the camera flipped around. Um, kind of an overview on this. It's a king cutter, 400. Um, this is feels like it has a textured paint coating to it. Just a basic gearbox. It's got your grease nipple here, which is nice. Um, and then it does have a wheel that goes around the inside, so it doesn't fence bridging um, but the other ones you didn't know how they were taken care of a lot of it was eaten out on here so you didn't know how much life you had left in that uh, you know there's not much to them but if you must spend the money might as well spend the extra 50 bucks and guarantee that it hasn't been and I can crack that full of grease so yeah that's kind of I'm excited, and then it also has operator's manual, and it gives you the seating chart right there, which that'll probably that'll probably eventually end up falling off. But yeah, that'll be nice on either back to D15 or probably put on. I think it's a Category One, so I think we can only put that on the 15. But that'll be nice. I can throw some. I can throw some uh, bags of seed in the bucket, or bags of fertilizer in the bucket. Go spread that real quick, or with the truck. But 
Um, yeah, I'll uh, kind of do an update. I probably won't show clearing this up because it's pretty much just going to be clear one half. With this, you can. it really works out nice for scraping that stuff up. You'll just have chunks ripping up. Um, yeah. And then we'll tear all this up, move everything on that side, tear this side up, and just leave a pile probably in the back there. So that's, uh, that's it for now, and we'll uh, keep you updated through the weekend. Hello, everyone. Well, it's getting dark out. Uh, I kind of I was out here for a while. It's a lot lighter than it. It's a lot darker than when it shows on the camera, but I got a bunch of the nor moved. Um, that was all packed in that corner, and then I kind of got scraping here. A lot of this stuff, you can see those. Put your forks down in, and it just kind of cuts through them. So we may open up that door when we do this. Come in this way, grab it. Um, we might even just pull in the lot. See how that goes, I don't know. Just figure out an area where I can drive so I don't run over the water hole that was there. And also there's concrete sticking up, so I don't know. It'd be... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'll post that drop off. So, anyway. Yeah, this is what we got. Um, there's some manure back against that wall there. But I basically grabbed it, moved it over here, and then re-grabbed it. Put it back over here so that you get that mixing of kind of stuff. The uh, hay in with the manure. Um, you can see that stuff's still pretty wet, so that'll start to ferment some of this at least. Definitely, you can smell it. it's pretty, it's pretty fresh. So, and then when they were laying on this, um, the stuff at the bottom actually got pretty wet. That's probably some of that. So, I don't know. Well, uh, 15, this manure spray sure like, makes that 15 look small. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I thought about going to an auction tomorrow, but it sounds like I found somebody else to go hunting with. So that's kind of what plan is for tomorrow. Um, yeah, and then on the reason why that guy, so some are tired and they're not around a whole lot. You have to catch him. You have to catch him certain times a day. Um, so it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be driving by. I go by there for work, so I drive by, and if I see. See he's out, then I'll stop, but I don't know. If not, well, if this gets too late, we'll just spread it on the field. I guess. See how big of a spreader load it is. If it's really heaping full, take it up. If it's only half a load, or, you know, just to that, I'm not going to worry about it. So, <clears throat> And uh, the reason I'm bringing the spreader in, um, so actually... Oh, you can see I, I had some, I had that bucket and I had some hydraulic oil in it, so I kind of dumped it. <laughs> Seams at the bottom of here and kind of just let it soak in a little bit. But the reason I'm bringing the spreader in, <laughs> being as all these chains are exposed, I also dumped some oil on this so I that stay loose. But being as these chains are exposed, and this is all exposed and that's all exposed, I really don't want to get this covered nice, and you know have to go when it's 30 degrees out um and then you know start up and snap because this is definitely it's definitely an antique and it needs to be well taken care of i plan on keeping it for a while which i do so yeah there's that um otherwise we'll see what else happens this weekend and uh stay tuned well hey everyone um it's Monday, uh, yesterday, I ended up, went hunting on Saturday, um, really windy, uh, when yesterday was cold and colder and windy, so I didn't end up going hunting, but I did help my buddy move a little hay, um, he has to do some hauling, so, a lot of time just sitting around, but, um, kind of do a wrap up, um, I'm just getting around to, Got off work, getting around to pick up, you know, this stuff, you know, there's a couple branches out there, maybe bigger logs, throw those, um, and then 
walking through here looking at what I want to tackle next year. This year's did a lot of that, so it really isn't too big of a deal this year. Um, so, but, yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm debating on if I don't hear anything by Friday, or if I'm not able to contact my, that land owner. Um, I'm just going to end up spreading what I have for hay on probably the back part here. And then, being as I have the three-point fertilizer spreader, I can apply fertilizer whenever I need to. So, that definitely opened things up for me. Um, and, you know, not buying it now, I'm ready. So, if we get an early spring, I'm ready. I just got to purchase the fertilizer and figure out where I want to buy that. So, um, so I'm going to do for now. You know, I only got maybe half hour until the sun goes down. So, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup and... Enjoy the nice warm weather we got right now. Um, it's like 55. Not too much wind, so. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you guys with that. Just want to remember to say like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.